So I've seen the comments, you've all been asking for it. The insane, like this is actually brutal this fight. Invincible versus Conquest Battle, fully explained. Once the world altering Invincible War comes to its dramatic close, Mark is seen helping the construction workers clear large pieces of debris from the scene. Seeing a woman's lifeless hand and calling for the nearby men to come and grab her, Mark's rage swirls within him. He knows it's all his fault, and needing some type of escape from the pain, he glides up to the top of a large pile of debris. Telling the worm to stand ready for his arrival though, an old, war-beaten Viltramite floats down from above and informs Mark of his duties. He has been appointed the Viltramite agent of this planet and needs to prepare it for takeover by the Empire. All he is here for currently is to check that progress towards this task is being made. If he opposes him, then Mark will be killed. Not exactly in the greatest of moods himself, Mark tells him that it ain't a great time. Annoyed, since the brat doesn't seem to understand the situation he's currently in, he elaborates that the Empire expected this and specifically sent him. He is Conquest. Not once has he ever failed to take over a planet, no matter its strength. Straight up just raging at this point, Mark tells him he doesn't get it. He was the one to cause all of the destruction he sees around him. The lives lost are a direct result of what he's done. He can't describe the guilt or shame exuding from him. All he feels is anger. The only thing currently coursing through his veins is the desire to beat the shit out of something as hard as he possibly can. Acknowledging this, the two Viltramites then charge towards each other, sending a massive shockwave out that obliterates their surroundings. As the two struggle, grappling each other in the sky, the nearby construction workers are all thrown back from the force of their initial clash. Taking things up another notch, Conquest easily overpowers Mark, crashing him through a building and throwing him down onto the ground below. Standing above Mark, he tells him of how Anissa, a woman who had previously come to Mark, would be calling him a fraud for denying the human race a utopian future. He ain't like that though. Conquest wants him to know the truth and goes on to elaborate that he isn't here because he wants to help spread the empire. He doesn't believe in honor or specific morals. He's here because he simply enjoys the battle. Clenching his fist, Conquest exclaims that he longs to feel his fists drenched in. But before he could even finish his sentence, Mark uses the dude's lacking concentration to sock him in his old ass head. Unaffected by the blow, Conquest smiles and mocks him causing Mark to get pissed and fly and tackle him through some rubble and into a building that collapses onto the duo. Picking up some of the destroyed building and throwing it aside, Conquest then grabs and lifts Mark up by his neck with one arm while screaming for more. Quickly thumping Conquest's head with both of his hands, the old fart smiles, enraging Mark and allowing him to land a succession of brutal punches that launch the Viltramite into space. Floating there, Conquest smiles again, revealing a drip of blood slowly starting to fall from his nose and proving that Mark is actually dealing some form of damage. In a flash, Conquest then tackles Mark back into the stratosphere. Managing to somehow shake loose though, Mark lands two more fat punches and kicks the old man away. Unnerved, Conquest states that he's had enough games and in a flash brutally punches Mark, shattering one of the lenses on his face. Fading in and out of consciousness now, Mark falls down from the sky and crashes into the ground below. Slowly beginning to get his bearings, Conquest dives in on the helpless man and kicks his sorry ass across the ruined city. Following up, he punches Mark through another building before leaving him to hopelessly tumble along the ground. Sitting up, Mark holds his hand up over his eye and chucks his other hand up while asking Conquest to stop. Questioning if he's crazy, Mark pleads for the alien to just stop and listen to him. However, Conquest instead slams him into the floor and asks if he really thinks he's going to even give him a chance to surrender. He hasn't given him a single indication, and from the Viltramite's perspective, he's having the time of his life. When this is all done, he's not going to stop. No, he plans to kill everyone else. All that stands between him now and the true bliss of pure race eradication is him, Mark. Darting in, Oliver, like an absolute G, throws the old dude's ass off Mark, but is immediately subdued and grabbed by his arm. Absolutely peeved at the kid's insolence, Conquest demands to know his name. Luckily Mark, having gotten free, managed to grab his other arm and kick Conquest away to save Oliver. Now, with some distance between the two, Oliver screams for Mark to let go, however, he refuses and instead tosses his fellow superhero into the sky to escape. Being tackled a fraction of a second later, Conquest crashes into the ground with Mark below him and screams at him to show him his rage. Right now, and until he sees his heart beating in his hand, he will never believe that he has a true Viltramite heart. Snapping his body back up, Mark connects with a headbutt that brutalizes the front of Conquest's face, much to his amusement. 
lands in another heavy combo of kicks and punches. Conquest finally catches Mark's last punch and mocks him, claiming that if this is all he has, then it will never end well for him. Skipping away from the battle and over to a random hospital room, the Wilkins watch the news as it mistakenly explains that from the footage they've received, it looks like no one other than Omni-Man has returned. They're still currently unaware to exactly what's going on, but claim they will attempt to keep the audience updated as the story develops. After two days of being in a coma, this news of the fight starts to rouse Eve from the Shadow Realm. Setting up confused, she immediately asks where Mark is and what happened. Obviously, this is in reference to the war that just happened, which if you want me to cover it, smash this video to 5k likes and I'll grind it out before season 3 even begins. Trying to keep her calm, Mumsy tells her to relax as she's safe here. This place is a special facility and they're keeping her true identity a closely held secret. Noticing some massive fight happening on the telly screen though, Betsy awkwardly explains to her that Invincible is fighting against his dad again. Freaking out and hovering into the air as she screams for Mark, Eve knows that he's going to kill him this time and she needs to save Mark. Stunned, her parents ask if she means Mark, her boyfriend, accidentally revealing his true identity as Invincible. Randomly, a doctor then enters the room behind her trying to get her to chill out as she could make her injuries even worse if she moves. Annoyed, she tells him that it doesn't matter and instead he needs to go and get the dude who set up her protection at this hospital. Looking back at the telly and seeing her boy get hit, she says that she's on her way. Back in battle and still shooting through the air, Conquest claims that up until now he's just been playing with him, but now he's done. Slamming Mark onto the ground from side to side like Hulk with freaking Loki, Conquest then tosses him through the air and reveals that he isn't even having any fun. He's starting to even question why they sent him here. This task is purely beneath him. Catching up and crushing his back with a dual footed kick, Conquest stands above a brutally beaten Mark and tells him that he met his father Nolan when he was younger. He apparently showed a lot of promise, but now he's just dead. Apparently, his execution was finalised just before Conquest was sent here to Earth. Honestly, he finds the entire situation really sad, as he'd have loved to return to Viltrum and seen the look on his face after he told him that he'd killed his son. Saving him once again, like little bros come in and clutch here, Oliver lands a fat head kick that sends Conquest shooting off and allows him to attempt to pull Mark back out of the ground. Pulling at him, Conquest pleads with Mark to please let him help. He can't fight him alone, but since he's old, surely they stand a chance together. Walking them down, Conquest argues that him being old doesn't mean you should underestimate him. Swatting Mark away in order to exact revenge on this little brat, Conquest brutalizes Oliver with a punch and grabs his arm, breaking it. Lifting him up above his head and beginning to stretch him out, he asks if he's starting to feel his body tear apart. Screaming for him to stop, Mark boosts in and tackles Conquest, allowing a severely wounded Oliver to start recovering. Annoyed, Conquest remarks that it was faster than he anticipated. Landing a punch to Mark's face though, he says, it doesn't matter, he'll just eat his heart instead. Nearby and appearing through the gateway, Cecil finds Oliver's location and orders for the medical team to attend to him immediately. Hearing his assistant then yell out that the redhead wants to teleport straight into the hot zone, he tells him to patch her through, as right now, he's honestly willing to try anything. Now skipping into Eve's hospital room, Cecil goes on to say that he would have superheroes popping out of portals a mile apart trying to figure out exactly where this fight is going. Sadly, half of the hero community is either in hospital or completely shocked by the war that just took place. Never mind the fact that they really only have six people who could hold their own against this dude for more than a minute. He lets her know that he could send her in, but by the time she steps out of the portal, they could be on the other side of the planet. Replying that she just does not care at all and can hold her own against him, tells him to hurry up and create one. Now skipping back to the battle and across the surface of the ocean like a freaking rock, Conquest tells Mark to look out before grabbing a hold of him and thrusting him through a military destroyer ship. Continuing to hold him, Conquest drives Mark's face into almost every surface imaginable until Mark finally snaps and punches back. Looking up, Mark pleads with him not to, as he sees Eve then confront Conquest. Noticing that it definitely wasn't Omni-Man herself, Conquest lets her know that, yeah, it's bad news for her. Rushing in to save his girl, Mark attempts to hold off the alien, but Conquest easily gets loose and lands a spinning karate slice to the back of Mark's leg, shattering it and causing him to shriek out in pain. Terrified with what the hell she just witnessed, Eve attempts to hold Conquest in a bubble, but he easily shatters it. Following up and with Mark not in sight, Conquest smashes her face with a fat right before impaling her with a direct jab through the stomach. As the blood then drips down onto his face, Conquest jokes that she was oh so pretty. 
but just a waste in the end. Throwing her from the sky, Mark immediately gets up and flies to his girl. Clutching her injured body in his hands, he pleads with her to live. He, he can't do this without her by his side. Flying off to another spot, Mark frantically asks for her to be okay. Hearing her try to speak, he tells her to save her strength. Surely, if Cecil is watching, then he'll send some help. For now though, he places her mortally wounded body on the road and just begs for her to keep on breathing. Sadly though, as he looks up and sees the shadow of Conquest approach, knows that it's helpless. Looking down on him, Conquest says that she must have done this all because she loved him. A strong bond that the Viltrumites have never had. To him, it's typical of weakness. Still, it's admirable and he slowly begins to understand why Mark cares so much for the people of this planet. Knowing it's not long now, he tells Mark that if he has anything important to say, then he better get it off his chest. Looking like a reaper of death, Conquest eerily states that he should do it now. He doesn't know when he'll get another chance and because of that, he wants to thank him. Mark Grayson, invincible, from the very bottom of his heart. It's not often that he just gets to cut loose like this. Usually freaking missions have so many damn parameters, don't do this, don't do that, but not here. For some random reason, like Conquest himself doesn't even care why, let alone know what Mark did to piss them off, but he was told to take control of the planet no matter what. Staring back at him, Conquest asks if he has his full attention now, to which Mark looking at him starts to seethe with rage. He screams that it doesn't matter how strong he is or fast, he can see the freaking future and his ass doesn't live to see tomorrow. Instantly cracking up, Conquest is assured that after everything he's done and all Mark's endured at his hands, it's a bit stupid to threaten him now. Weirdly impressed by his tenacity though, Conquest floats up above and demands that he do his worst. In a flash, the two of them beam towards each other and prepare to strike. Throwing their fists and connecting with each other, Mark's forearm is utterly shattered. Still, he somehow manages to punch through Conquest's cybernetic arm, destroying it as well. Floating there, amused with his messed up arm, Conquest, who should have been paying attention, is then rocked by a fat right hook from Mark. With him railing back, Mark screams that no matter how much he's enjoyed fighting so far, he promises him that he will enjoy this even more. Leaning forwards and grabbing a hold of him, Conquest calls him nothing more than a child. When it comes to their race, being enraged does not make him stronger. That isn't how things work. Going to say that he doesn't stand a chance, Mark goes absolutely native on his ass and bites down on Conquest, causing the Voltramite to throw the kid off him out of pure reaction. Nearby, Eve wakes up from her near-death state and begins to rebuild her beaten body. I don't know why, but during this process here, the girl's clothes are also completely torn off her, so hell yeah. <laughs> As the pink light illuminates the sky around, Mark pummels Conquest, screaming for him to die. Noticing Eve out of the corner of his eye though, Mark gets distracted, allowing Conquest to punch him back off him. Seeing Mark's condition, Eve then boosts in, powers up a blast of energy, and fires the condensed blast, connecting with Conquest and burning off much of his skin. Having turned into a smoldering wreck, Bro collapses onto the ground. Simultaneously, a naked Eve loses consciousness and falls to the floor herself. Regaining consciousness and getting his crispy ass up off the floor, Conquest announces that this time he'll make sure she's dead. Leaping at him like a rabid dog though from behind, Mark screams that no one will punch her. Throwing his one good hand forward, Mark connects with the old fart's head, dropping his ass back to the ground below. Sitting on him now, Mark goes to drop a few more punches, but Conquest catches his hand and claims that he's still got a lot of fight left in him. In that moment, Conquest crushes Mark's hand, causing him to screech out in pain. Smiling, he jokes that, see, he had more than enough in him. Gritting his teeth, Mark lets him know that it wasn't enough, not even freaking close. Throwing his damn head down and crushing the old fart's nose, Mark asks if he's still having fun. Is he enjoying himself now? Again, Mark then violently headbutts Conquest and demands that his crippled ass reply. Smiling like a complete maniac, Conquest says that he takes the good with the bad. Just just done with this maniac, Mark drops 28 more brutal headbutts, seemingly cutting him out of reality and turning the Voltramite's head into nothing but a pancake. Absolutely naked now and not with a single operable limb, Mark collapses to the floor. Reawakening and thinking about Eve, Bro gets his broken ass on the road in an attempt to find her. Pulling over a nearby wall of rubble, Mark finally finds his girl and collapses down next to her. Glad that they both somehow managed to survive the brutal beatdown, simultaneously they both confess their love for each other. 
going to say something else, Mark eventually goes unconscious due to the wounds he suffered during the battle. Realizing what he was actually going to say though, Eve looks down to see her naked body and faints from pure embarrassment. In front of her, Cecil, the Guardians of the Globe, Young Blood, what up, Savage Dragon, and a bunch of other superheroes arrive to the scene to transport them both back to safety. Of course, subscribe if you are new around here as it really helps out with pushing my content to a bunch of new amazing people. And leave a like if you do enjoy this kind of content. It's the first time that I'm making a comic type video instead of a manga one or a manga one. So if you'd love to see more of this kind of stuff, then let me know down in the comment section below and smash that like button. If this does get enough likes, then I will 100% do The Invincible War. But for now, it's been your professional degenerate, Diavolo, and I will see you all in a bit. Bye.